Hey guys, what's up? This is Anthony. Um, I'm here to do another movie review, and this time I'm going to do the review of the movie uh, The Hot Chick with Rob Schneider, which came out in 2002. Now this movie is about a girl named Jessica who goes out with her friends to the mall and they just shop, you know, they're basic, you know, high school girls and stuff, and all of a sudden they go to this one little store, which is like sort of like an antique store kind of like with had which has like earrings and stuff like that and they find these a couple of these earrings that they're not supposed to take and uh... they switch them out and you know they have them and then they're going out to the get gas and then all of a sudden there's this guy named clive played by, by rob schneider who is robbing the store he's like a he's a wanted criminal and all of a sudden he's like trying to you know fix Jessica and her friends car and all of a sudden you know they leave and then you know he finds one of the earrings that uh, Jessica left and he tries it on and then Jessica tries her other earring and then the next day he turns she turns into Clive like the body switch so Clive is Jessica and Jessica is Clive and you know Jessica is just trying to get back to her old body and you know all through throughout doing it she has to do all sorts of things to like hide you know she has to um, she has to like hide for, and be with her friend April and you know try to figure out you know how to get through it and it's a really really funny movie uh... this movie came out around the time when rob schneider was doing all sorts of crazy you know movies and he did a movie before this called the animal which was okay uh... but this was much better in my opinion uh, it's really it's it's one of those movies that in my opinion wouldn't be made that much well today uh, especially for an early 2000s uh, comedy it's really fun for an early 2000s comedy it's like it sort of to me has like the sort of nostalgic tone to it like I don't know if you guys know about like those early 2000s like comedy films but like it's got sort of like a, a feel good moment it's got some really funny moments too like there's this part where there's this guy who's played by you know Adam Sandler who's in the shop and he's like a bongo guy he's like always you know hitting the bongos and he always says it's like Adam Sandler in this like hat and these fake dreads you know but he's always saying stuff like you know you could put your weed in there right <laughs> it's like really it's stupid but it's really funny um, and there's also some funny parts where, like, uh, you know, Jessica as Clive is going in this, you know, dance bar, and, you know, he's just hanging out, or she's just hanging out, and he's just, like, hit, like, he's saying all this kind of stuff, and he doesn't want to sound too gay, you know, he wants to try to fit in, and then later he goes into the... Uh, bathroom and he's like she's like trying to pee like figure out how to pee you know and uh, there's this old man who's played by um, uh, Dick Gregory I think that's his name he's really funny has a really funny moment in it and then later you find out that one of the guys well I won't spoil it for the ending but let's just say that you know there's a character in the bar the dance place who uh, later emerges later in the movie but it's a really fun movie um, you can get it for dirt cheap online uh, it's a really it's very it's it, like I said it's one of those movies that would absolutely never be made today along with uh, Tropic Thunder that's another movie that won't be made today uh, but yeah, I kind of wish in a way there was sort of a sequel, but in a way, you know, this movie is funny on its own, and 
there's a lot of moments that will make you laugh. Rob Schneider's funny as hell in it, and I definitely recommend it. If you can get this for a pretty good price, or if you can find it online on Amazon or whatever, definitely pick it up. It's one of the most underrated, in my opinion, early 2000s comedies. And definitely one of the most underrated Rob Schneider movies. So anyway, that's my rental review. I'm going to just call, like I said, I'm just going to call these rental reviews from now on. So, because I'm renting them. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my movie review and uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next review.